and we are back at Universal Studios Hollywood to try the best and worst food that this park has to offer. There's a ton of food options here. The most popular ones being the Minions Cafe, three broomsticks in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Krusty Burger, Island New Bar, and Jurassic Cafe. But we want to know what the best food and the worst food is. And we are going to sacrifice our wallet, our spending, and our taste buds for you guys to settle the age-old debate what's good, what's not. If you're new here, please thumbs up this video. It really helps people find our channel. And if not, continue to watch the video and we hope you like it. Let's go eat. I wore my stretching pants. Yeah. Tetris and I came for Taste of Universal and we'll put that link in the bottom because we ate a lot of food that they actually kept from that event here. But it's funny, Krusty Burger for him didn't live up to the hype that it did a couple years ago. Krusty Burger is still one of my favorite places, but we're not going to try Krusty Burger today. Do you miss Krusty Burger? Not really. It's an average cheeseburger and honestly, Jurassic Cafe has got a way better burger than Krusty Burger. Yeah, and that's the thing. If you guys are burger lovers, just something to note, Krusty Burger is going to be more of your basic burger whereas Jurassic Cafe is gonna have like your specialty burgers and the ones with all the fix-ins and the cool name and everything. So if you're a basic B, go eat at Krusty Burger. And if you love The Simpsons, just go eat there for theming. But if you like some wild stuff in your burger, then definitely go to Jurassic Cafe. And I will say all the restaurants here, besides three broomsticks, are gonna be cheeseburger sandwiches and that type of thing. Mel's Diner, the Hollywood Dive, the Krusty Burger, and Jurassic all do a burger. And I will say, I tried Cocina, Mexicana during the Taste of Universal event. If you're trying to get your drink on, they have bomb margs there and they do have really good nachos, but we're not trying that today. But this is a food video. We just want to let you know our thoughts and opinions on it and you know, where the cheapest food options are as well because food prices are at an all time high y'all and they did raise some of the prices here. And just like breaking bad news to someone, you usually want to start with the bad news and then give <laughs> them the good news. So let's go to the worst restaurant first. Let's go try the worst restaurant. And also we're going to take into account theming, ambiance, taste, and what the food looks like. The presentation, does it make sense? Let's do this. The funniest part to me about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is that both the ones in the US are in the hottest places. You have them in Florida, and then you have them in Southern California, and you have people like Tetris who wear their Harry Potter robes with a full outfit. They're probably dying underneath, but it's all for the look, you know what I mean? I'm more about comfort, I don't want to be sweaty, but God bless you all. Yeah, I'd rather look horrendous and not be swampy. <laughs> We're here at Universal Studios Hollywood on the lower lot and we're determined to find the worst food inside of Universal Studios Hollywood. Nick and I chose Mummy Eats. It's right across from Jurassic Cafe, right in front of the Mummy roller coaster ride and right to your right when you get off of the escalator, or I'm sorry, off of the 5,000 escalators that take you 10 minutes to get down here. The reason we chose Mummy Eats is because they have three corn dogs. It's a regular corn dog, a spicy corn dog, and a Korean corn dog. And then for dessert, they have multiple churros. So you can get like a dark chocolate churro. We got the Fruity Pebble churro, a normal churro, basically any churro that your hearts desire. So why did we choose it to be the worst? I feel like it's obvious. Why are we having Korean corn dogs at Mummy Eats? Why don't they have like wraps? You know, like Mummy is wrapped, like different wraps and stuff and like play off the theming. Like why do we have a Korean corn dog in Egypt? Doesn't make a lot of sense. But we're gonna see if it's actually good because we're like, why do you have this? And then we got the Fruity Pebble churro. We heard this is bomb, but again, shouldn't it be like emotes have churro of death? Wouldn't that make more sense? You know we're all about theming or I'm all about theming. So let's see if they're good because the theming is off, boo boo. Let's see. So the two items that we did choose today are the Fruity Pebbles churro and the Korean corn dog with fries. If you look at the Fruity Pebble churro, it's more like Fruity Pebble dust. It's like obvious that they put the Fruity Pebbles like in a blender situation, kind of like how at Disneyland they have the celebration churro that has the blue sugar on it. The Korean corn dog is a normal corn dog with sugar breading. And you can see on here, the sugar is glowing in this SoCal heat. And then you have some seasoned fries to go along with it. So the churro is going to run you $6. And then the Korean corn dog is going to run you 12 bucks. You guys, Universal Studios is the loudest park in the history of theme parks. The music is loud, this is loud, everything's loud! Okay, so we're trying the Korean corn dog. Bye bye. This is great. I love the sweetness of it. It tastes really fresh. Is blue behind me? Oh my god. It tastes really fresh, it's really juicy, it's really hot, and the sugar on it makes that like sweet sour tangy type of thing. I don't really know much about Korean hot dogs or if this resembles it. 
but it's really good. Let's get one more bite in, but let's get the fix in. Look at a little snacky, guys. Because I love me some sauce. Yeah, okay. This is good. So is it not the worst food item here at Universal Studios Hollywood? Not the worst food item, but I think how they can improve is literally just like, name it some sort of Egyptian thing or a play off, off emo tag. changing the mummy ride and they just like don't care but let's do more theming all right so already looking at this the sugar breading almost looks like a funnel cake on that do you guys see it look how thick the breading is on that ashley eats a whole pack of ketchup and mustard for each bite so i'll have the remnants of her that's all she left me guys that's all the mustard <laughs> she left me whoa right this is insane it's super doughy inside do you guys see it it's like not cooked all the way and it creates like, like a funnel cake feel i actually really like this i'm gonna eat it dry i'm gonna go ahead and go that four vibes i like corn dogs it's not better than a disney corn dog but it's a close second nothing will ever beat the corn dog bites at magic kingdom though ever so good so this is a fruity pebble churro look at that detail i love fruity pebbles as a kid the best part of fruity pebbles is the milk afterwards that tastes like fruity pebbles and then you have fruity pebbles milk yeah, I give this four vibes. For some reason, I feel weird eating a churro anywhere other than Disneyland. I feel like I'm cheating on Disneyland, but this is really good. I think what could make it better is some like funfetti dip. Well, that's just me being a fat girl. <laughs> but this is really good. Definitely recommend. Looking at it already, this is incredible. It's literally got every color of Fruity Pebbles in there. And I've always had this thing too, like Disney churros are the best and no one else can really compete. Not Knott's, not Universal. But I might be like proven wrong here because it smells really good. No, not for me. Whoa, really? No. Why? Super dry. It tastes like, like sawdust on it with the sprinkles. Like when I had the Magic Churro, the Celebration Churro, it did not taste like that. It's a texture thing. One vibe. What? More for me there. Mm. We're on the path to find the absolute best food at Universal Studios Hollywood. And when you check Google, when you check Yelp, you know, Instagram tags, Universal Studios, everybody tags the three broomsticks inside of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter as their absolute favorite thing to eat inside of the park. I definitely agree with that. So we chose for lunch something kind of a little bit healthier, but we got the rosemary chicken with a big corn on the cob and some roasted potatoes. And then we're gonna leave a link below, but if you watched the Taste of Universal video that Tetris and I came to to eat all the food here. We also tried this dessert, which is the toffee bread pudding with vanilla ice cream. And it has like Reese's Pieces peanut butter chips on it. Oh my God, I can't wait to try it. I haven't had this in over a year. So wait, hold on. What am I doing? Nothing sets off potatoes. Lock some ketchup. I don't know why I talk like that. I don't know. Potatoes are five vibes. This is a half chicken, y'all. Do I just, oh geez, okay. <laughs> I will admit, the chicken's a little bit dry today, but it's still good. I have it like three and a half vibes. Let's try this corn on the cob. Mm. Mm -hmm. The funniest thing about today's video is Nick and I came up to Universal Studios Hollywood with the mission. We're like, we're gonna try the worst food and the best. And it actually was like kind of the opposite. Mummy Eats, that Korean corn dog was like really good and really fresh. Nick and I like had a disagreement on the Fruity Pebble churro. I actually really liked it, but he didn't. But now I'm having this Harry Potter meal and while it's good, it's not like the best. We'll actually probably do another video to try more of the Jurassic Cafe food. That in my opinion is might take the cake or maybe Minions Cafe. Comment below where you want us to eat next. This is still good, but I actually really liked the Korean corn dog in Egypt that made no sense. It's my three and a half Bob's potatoes. You think about all the stuff that goes into like theme park food. Are you the theme park goer that you eat and you just want to eat a corn dog on the side of a bench like a mummy eats, or do you want to be immersed in a land with the food from the movie, with the music, with the castle behind you? I mean, this goes overall theming because you literally feel like you're in Hogwarts and it's literally like what's in the movie. So if you're a Harry Potter, fan come to three broomsticks the food is good have some butter beer listen to this loud music and eat a chicken wing
It's awesome. I will say it's the most expensive food in the park by far. A meal here was $20, so. And also, Nick came here last week and he went to get a beer at the bar and the guy charged him and it was like $20 and Nick was like, was oh. 1750 $17.50. And Nick was like, can I get two? And the guy's like, no, we raised all of our beer prices and drink prices. We don't know what they were before, but like, it is not cheap. I think moving forward, if we're not doing live videos, we're definitely gonna pack a lunch because this gets, this adds up, you guys. It's not docking bay seven, but it's good. <laughs> okay, so now we are gonna eat dessert. This doesn't look as pretty as it did five minutes ago, but that's because it's hot and fresh out of the oven and it all melted. Okay, this is Reese's peanut butter cups with toffee, bread pudding, and ice cream. Okay, it's really hard. Do you have a knife? You gotta get a knife for this one, you guys. Oh my God, look at like how moist that is inside and how fresh. Like, oh my gosh. Oof, God, let's do it. Okay. Mm. Oh man, 54 vibes. If you want something sweet, but not too sweet, get this. And the thing that's the best about this, it can be a winter dessert or a summer dessert. It is hot, we're in SoCal. The offset of the ice cream with how warm the pastry is, you cannot beat that. It is so refreshing. So good, you guys, and great for sharing. You know what, honestly, I don't go to every theme park in the world, not a Six Flags, and we don't go to Knott's that often, but I would put this on wax that this might be the best theme park dessert ever. I don't really consider a Disneyland churro a dessert. I just think of that as like a midday, like, woo, sugary snack. This is bomb. Like, this is really good, and the presentation is great. It's good for the gram. Like, oh my God. Okay, Nick, I have the ultimate bite for you. <laughs> really good. It's vanilla bean ice cream too, which is great. That's awesome. I'll give that five vibes. That's gonna do it for the Mouse Vibes here at Universal Studios Hollywood. We ate. We didn't drink for the first time ever. Um, if you disagree with any of our food opinions in this video, please drop a comment below and let us know what your favorite snack and drink is at Universal Studios Hollywood and what you want us to try next time. If you like this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up because it helps everybody find the channel. If not, thanks for stopping by.